don't know how it goes all right. Hi guys, Matt here and welcome to yet another Matt unboxing and uh, it is again something that came from the US. So, let's open this up. Here we go. I really have to sharpen my leather, this leatherman again. I bought a new one though. And that one is sharp as fudge. I need it for work. So. And, and this is. A rarity tin box. Here we go. Rarity on both sides. It's the same picture on both sides. And. Um, why did I buy this? There's a rarity exclusive card from Cantaloupe Knights in this. So, let's open this up. It is, the, the packaging is way more brittle than of the Lunar Box I opened uh, earlier. So the packaging is not even half as sturdy of this one. So, it is in near pristine condition. I see a little dent here. And a uh, little scratch here. was probably done. That's not. Uh, well, it seems to be a knife or something. It's definitely not in pristine condition. So, let's open it up. And we see that these boxes are differently made. There is one value pack of the trading card game, there is three boosters of the collectible card game in here, though. There is a rarity poster. Let's unfold it. Go. Oh, nice! It's not only a rarity poster. Here we go. Rarity poster. It is a complete list of the cards of the trading fun packs one and two, and of the collectible card game as of now. Let's see if the rarity foils in here. Special foils. I think it is, yeah, Nightmare Moon. Uh, here, here she is, Rarity Dragon Charmer. She's on here. But I don't see Princess Luna. And uh, she was in the other box, and that box released even earlier, so no Princess Luna in here. So, And then we have the other cards here. We have a Rarity Foil sticker, and the reason I bought this all, Rarity Dragon Charmer. <laughs> Here we go. So, let's uh, open up the value pack first. However, I never saw something in the value packs that I thought really valuable, but, well, maybe they are. And I still think they are horrible to open. Here we go. I really think they should change the packaging. I'll put at least some more cards in there. Another Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. I already have one. King Sombra. Uh, yeah. Alicorn Twilight. Fun tat. And the rarity part of the Phillies, where they collect this list on the back. And an alicorn amulet. You can never have enough alicorn amulets. So, and then there are the three boosters. Let's open those of the collectible card game. One seems a little bit fat. So, a thorn in the paw. Forest All, Pinkie Pie, Ice Cutter, Adventures in Full Sitting, Granny Smith, Werber Chicken, 
Parasite Pandemic, Winona, <laughs> and the Pinky Responsibility Pie, Pinky Pie Rare. Pony Napped, Watch and Awe, and Wild Manticore. So, Pinkie Pie Rare. Already have three, but it's nice. So, second booster. Full free pass. Major Mare. Opalescence. Red Gala. Hoity Toity. Looking for trouble. Pegasus, I don't believe it. Pegasus Royal Guard. Fiddly Faddle as a rare. But screwy, barking mad. The ultra rare. This is incredible. Out of three tins, I have now pulled two ultra rares. And one I only have once. I wanted to have her a second time. This is awesome. Awesome. Too much pie. May the best pet win. And finish line are the uncommons. I cannot believe my luck with these tens. Screwy Boy King Mad just pulled the Lyra Husspinks on the Otto Volunum and Screwy Boy King Mac on the Rarity one. This is crazy. Appleborn Betty in the third booster. Pearly Stitch in the third booster. Who is Gabby Gums? Rainbow Shine. Avalanche. House Mouse. Professor Ney, and there is no foil card in this one. Mean Mini Pants, Good Hustle, as a rare. A Bully and the Beast, a uh, non common alike, by the way. Outshine them all, and Fierce must be faced. So, am I happy? I am happy. I just managed to pull another ultra rare out of the tin. This is surprising. Surprising me, definitely. Um, this means out of five boosters, two Lunar 10s, one Rarity 10, I now pull two Ultra Rares. That is extremely good. So, yeah, I'm going to play uh, Scooby, I'm going to play Lua, I'm going to play Rarity, and uh, I got a Featherweight too, but, and I wanted to play one of those again. Uh, I wanted to switch to, wanted to switch to um, Rarity sooner or later, so this is really really great I am extremely happy with this I will always play Pinkie Pie as my main color and I now got two more ultra rares out of her perfect perfect anyway so um, I hope you enjoyed this unpacking I hope you could see what these um, tins hold you I'm a little bit unhappy that this tin is so scratched on top here um, but the bottom side seems to be here seems to be pristine it's uh it was packed well enough don't know what caused this but uh um well anyway uh, there is another one coming and i will unbox it and uh, put it right now so you can uh, see it there and uh, here we are with the second package of uh, my order um, this is very cute. It has a thank you kind of folded together thank you note card here and it does not seem to be empty. It's no, it's an envelope and it has cards in it. Here we go. Uh, okay. It, it has the booster, I guess. It's a booster. Um, it has been unpacked. It shows as the uncommons a uh, narrative nest weaver. My pinky sense is tingling. And uh, a bunny breakout. But this is also a timber wolf. There's also an uncommon. And uh, that makes four uncommons. That is not usual for a booster. And this is the fifth one. This way, little ones. And spike take a letter. And there's a golden grape. That's a rare. This would be uh, a complete booster, 
and I do only have two golden grips, so that is also very nice. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's get to the actual packaging here. Choop. Bubble wrapped, and P uh, three original, one hundred and sixty GB. No, I doubt it. It's the rarity box, and it's completely sealed. So this must be another booster. Or three boosters must be in here. Um, it's completely sealed. Let's check in what state it is in. I see a little, little end here where the package was ruptured. On the other side, there is nearly nothing, I'd say. So, here we go. Again, with the Rarity card, that's why I bought this. Um, again, as I said, the packaging of the Rarity tin is way less sturdy. It's very thinner plastic, so it will not survive a trip or a packaging or so on uh, as much. And you can see here that now you can see some scratches here and a uh, little bit. Now that was just here's a little scratch here and so on. So let's let's check the tin as it is. So as I said, the packaging isn't sturdy enough, so the cr scratches will even in the shop. Bringing them to the shop, scratches will um, scratches will appear simply because uh, they're not that sturdy, and that is not that's not good for a collector. If you collect these, that's that's not good. You basically need one when it is made in the fabric uh, in the in the uh, in the um, company. Uh, if you buy it at a shop, it has already been shipped. It has already been moved, and the packaging will not prevent scratches. So, you see Rarity on the front and this Rarity on the back. It's uh, the same Rarity. And you can see on the top that it has uh, the Carousel Boutique. On the bottom you see Rarity at work. And here you see Rarity in her most horrible outfit. Rarity on the assembly line and Wetman Rarity. And on the other side you see Discorded Rarity with her uh, ideal picture of Tom. Then you see Rarity abusing Sweetie Bot. And then you see Rarity and Opalescence and Hoity Toity. So let's open it up. Opened it is. We have the uh, value trading card pack, the three boosters. So these are actually, actually, um, still there. So it was not open, so this is a gift. Very many, very many thank yous for that. Then we have the uh, poster of Rarity. You've seen it before. Put it back in here. And uh, the sticker of Rarity. And the Rarity Dragon Charmer. I have prepared a sleeve for her. Rarity Dragon Charmer. There we go. So, um, what I noticed is that Rarity Dragon Charmer actually belongs to the um, to the premiere set because of the symbol. You see that? It's a promo for the premiere set and the Luna card is not a promo for the premiere set. It's a promo for the Cantalot set because it has this Cantalot Knights symbol on it. So, uh, let's open the value pack of the trading cards first. Still too hard to open for such big flimsy cards. Another King Sombra. We have another Luna and Celestia uh, Funtat. We have uh, a value pack collector's list with uh, a cutie mark of little Twilight and on the top there is little Pink Amina pushing rocks. It is a very cute picture I must say. Um, we have uh, the Seeds of Tooth plant. Um, yeah. And we have the Stair Master Fluttershy trivia card. Very nice. Let's get to the boosters. 
Um, I don't expect another rare, ultra rare, full rare, anything like that. I don't expect that one at all. I was so lucky with the first one. I just got a free rare out of this one because they gave it to me. That is very nice of them. Yellow Passport. Strong of the of uh, the total makers that are not villains. Blue Jay. High Spirits. The Problem with Parasports. Applejack Plant Leader. The Full Field Press. Mayor Mare. Savoir Fair. And a Pinky Responsibility Pie and Foil. See, I got lucky again. Another foil wear. That is so funny. Um, the other covers are The Fashion Feast. All Salt. And Wrapping Up Winter. So. Another foil wear out of these boosters. I am very pleasantly surprised with how lucky I am in these boxes. Um, it's really surprising. It's really surprising me. So, let's unwrap the next one. Rainbow Shine, Avalanche, The House Mouse, Professor Ney, Mean Mini Pants, Inga's Rock, Royal Riff, um, Pony Wool in a Bottle, The Big Guns is the Rare, Here's the Invitation, First Uncommon, Flim, Second Uncommon, and Neat Pony Badge, third one coming. So, normal booster with uh, the big guns in it. And the third one, Let's see here. Okay, a bit strangely packed here. Spread your wings, Berry Dreams, Rising Star, Not Enough Pinkie Pies, which is two. Jetstream, Brown Parasprite, Sugar Twist, Gyro, is the rare, and uh, the Applejack Plant Leader is a foil common, Raise the Sporn, first uncommon, Wary T Nest Weaver, second uncommon, and Special Delivery is the third uncommon. So, this is it. Um, that's my second box. Uh, I have to say I got really lucky in these boxes. Um, two of them held ultra rares and I got four rares out of uh, both of them. Two, uh, bo uh, the other two I think. So I am uh, I'm absolutely satisfied with this. Uh, I like um, I like the the outcome here. I don't know if they have some sort of special pick for these, but it sh certainly seems a little bit like that, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I'm very much uh, thankful for the one who sent me this uh, this booster with a golden grape, which will is a rare as uh, free, and uh, the uncommons here, and some commons, which also includes a, a yellow parasite, so can never have enough parasites. Um yeah, I'm I'm very thankful for um for the one who sent me this. Uh I am uh, very satisfied with these boxes. Got way luckier than with my uh displays, for example. Um yeah, I'm gonna uh, keep close watch if there are other tin boxes with the uh, uh, promo cards popping up. I have, however, the feeling that there might be a promo box for every, every you know, um, edition coming out. So uh, who knows? Well, in this case, um, I got just what I wanted: the two lunas and the two rarities, and I got way more from the rest that I expected. So. Yeah, one can honestly say I am very satisfied. Um, so these are uh, the uh, boxes. You can find them on eBay if you are not living in the US. In the US I heard they are at Walmart and uh, Target as far as I have heard it, but I, I don't know about that. Um, for sure, simply because I am not American or Canadian, which also has Walmarts. So, 
that's about it. I hope uh, you enjoyed my unpacking here and I hope it gave you some advice to what will uh, be in these boxes. Thank you and uh, see you around.